Hi, it's me, Camilla Hastings. I am making a tutorial on how I give myself injections. I'm going to note right away, I'm not a doctor nor a medical professional. I am just showing how I give myself an injection the way that my doctor told me. One of the things that I'll be using is what's called Estradiol Valerate. It's a little vial. I'll be using a larger gauge needle to draw the solution from the vial and I will be using an, a syringe. These are usually insulin, so it's noted as an insulin syringe barrel, but that's what's prescribed. And then a thin, the small needle to give myself the injection. So one of the most important things we can do, I do for myself when giving myself an injection, is cleaning your hands. So wash your hands with hot soap and water before giving yourself an injection. I even go as far as to put some alcohol on my hands. Just you can never be too safe for me. So I'm going to pick my injection site. Some people do legs, arms. For me, I found my tummy. What I found is the least painful. Um, I do it once a week. So last week I did it on this side, so this week I'll be doing it on this side. One of the important things that I know is, of course I reiterate, I am not a doctor, I am not a professional, I am not a nurse. Do not do this unless you are prescribed this by a doctor and following your doctor's orders. I will go ahead and apply some alcohol. Um, I prefer this side over here as I did the other side last week. so. I'm going to clean up that side, and I'm going to get myself a nice fresh paper towel. This is an important part, is you've got to wipe the tip of the vial with alcohol. Now, what I like to do is I lay out all of my things that I'm going to need, my needles, my vial, and everything out, and I open it all. That way I can have everything ready because it's a one, two, three process, and it's not that difficult, and laying everything out ahead of time on a sterile surface is important. Just gonna get this, this one is the larger needle. This is the drawing needle. This is what I'll use. This is what I'll use to draw the serum, and then this is what I'll use to inject the serum is the smaller needle. It's a subcutaneous needle. So this is not intermuscular. This is subcutaneous in your basically transfer in your fat, not in muscle or not into your veins, just straight into my fat. So I wipe the tip of my vial. It's nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the needle for my drawing. So I'm going to take that off. Yep. That's a wide needle compared to what I'm going to inject myself with. But what I do is I go ahead and I'm going to stick this in. Be careful uh, when you do this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the solution. And I'm going to go ahead and draw it. And I'll see my... I'll draw it past my dose because there's a little bubble of air and that will work its way to its top. But for my own safety, I don't want any air going in me. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this up to where I need it to be, right? Where I need it to be, where my prescription. I go ahead and withdraw this from the vial. I'm gonna go ahead and be careful and go ahead and close this needle. It's got a safety lock so that you can't poke yourself. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw on. This is the needle that I use to inject myself. It's very thin. So as I already applied some alcohol, I can reapply a little bit more just to keep the area st sterile. Now here comes the big part. It's not that bad. I'm going to go three, two, one. And poke. Just take your time with it. 
once you have the needle in you, you can go ahead and take your time pressing it. There's still a little bubble in there. Just trying to get that bubble out. Hmm. Now, in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and draw a little more solution. That was a little unexpected, but I'm at the very bottom of my serum, so it's easy to get air into the syringe. This is actually a lot easier than it looks. I'm going to go ahead. And as you can see where I tried, it's, you know, it's not bleeding. It's a subcutaneous shot. I just double check to make sure that I'm not putting too much in. It's very important to follow the guidelines. Now, as we're, I previously picked a spot, I'm going to go ahead. Three, two, one, pinch, poke. Now we're in. Now we're just going to go ahead and this is a thick serum, so the slower, the better. If you rush this injection, it may leak out a little bit when you go to remove this needle. Now, the only reason I poked myself a second time was because I saw a little bubble in the syringe. So we just work our way, made it all the way down, go ahead and pull it out. Bam. Now, clean paper towel or napkin. I'm just going to put a little bit of alcohol, wipe the area down. Now, I apologize. You only need to poke once. I did not inject the first poke. I saw a bubble in the, um, in the syringe and you do not want to get a bubble in your syringe. These needles, when you're done with them, you just press this and the needle's gone, so it's no longer dangerous. And I have my Sharps container. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that. And this was the drawing needle. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in its safety. So that's in a nice safe place. And now I can just put a Band-Aid on um, if I, Bleed. It doesn't, it's never bled, but not once for me. And I've been doing this for five or six months. All right. Well, I appreciate you following my tutorial and this is how I do it. Please consult your doctor and your doctor will give you instructions on how you do it. I'm just following my doctor's orders. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps.